So I'm Jay, I'm a seven figure seller, also founder of Gorilla ROI, which is an Amazon data connector to load Amazon directly to Google Sheets. Hi, I'm Andre. I'm a seven figure seller and the founder of Seller Metrics. So product lifecycle versus creative. So yeah. what, are your, what are your thoughts on this? Any product has a life cycle in its own. And the life cycle is basically how much the product is relevant in the market, right? But there's different types of products and each one has a different life cycle. For example, a cryon life cycle is 50 years, maybe more. I don't know. Like when this cryon will become irrelevant. But this thing, one year maximum. Somebody's arguing that it's like half a year. Mm. Now, all both of them have the creative part that also has a life cycle. And that thing is short for both of them. For iPhone, it's even shorter. But even for a cryon, how you display it, this now is being dictated by the media, by the technology, by AI, whatever is coming to the market. Amazon decides that A plus premium is the way to go. So now we're not, we're used to the small images. Now it's bigger. The camera is being upgraded. You get 4K, maybe there will be 8K, whatever. Like things improve, the styles improve. The Chinese sellers are learning to do design and to do photography, and they're actually so good now at that thing. So they yeah. learn, they have ChatGPT, so the English is much better. And now your thing becomes obscure. Product life cycle versus images, creative life cycle. Keep that in, I would say that you need to upgrade your images once a year, maybe even faster. And yeah. I, I'm guilty yeah, of that. That's why we do it. We, we review it uh, pretty regularly. And I mean, using Gorilla ROI, the way we do it is, I can pull in all the images all the time, right? It just loads automatically into Google Sheets. So then I just have all the images side by side, every single listing. I've got this massive grid of all my images. And then we use that to evaluate, you know, okay, which one should we look at? Which one should we consider upgrading? And that's more of like a quarterly thing. Um, and But then actually upgrading and changing the creatives, you know, that's a continuous ongoing di uh, discussion where it's like, okay, is there any product that needs to be upgraded? Do we need to actually start doing it, you know, and putting it onto the, the timelines and the project management and things like that? So for sure, you can't, you can't put off the creative life cycle. Otherwise, your images will get stale. You'll get beaten by everybody out there. You said it interesting that you can import it in Gorilla ROI from Amazon and you can watch it. But can you do in Gorilla ROI where you pull competition products as well, images? So you have like no, we don't do no, yeah. not the competition ones. Yeah, just just the local ones, simply because we okay. don't pull in competitor competitor products. Oh, okay, that's interesting. But you have to watch it all the time. Images are important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how so how do you tell if a product is outdated? I run surveys from time to time to understand where I'm standing because when you want to. So we've discussed image split testing, but we didn't touch point on the important thing that you have to benchmark yourself. So actually that benchmarking will show how relevant you are and will rate you, how, for example, that garlic press, how that guy is doing versus the other one, right? So you test with the most important guys and what they do usually even without split testing, I put everything in a Photoshop file, all the images or in a spreadsheet and look at them all the time. Like how good is my stack looking versus other ones? Uh, try to un unbias yourself from your brand and look yeah. like, would you buy yours versus other ones? And how right. are they looking? All right, cool. So we've gone through the six others, um, image split testing, 3D modeling, EBC content, image deck sequencing, videos. And lastly, we've talked about the product lifecycle and the creative lifecycle. So I, I think for me, the biggest takeaway is a lot of this can be pretty much done if we focus on decluttering, because I see that all the time, even in my own listings. and. Um, that's only going to improve sales. So decluttering, making sure that the story is there, right? The sequencing is important. We don't want to all of a sudden show an ending to a movie in the beginning of the movie, something like that, and just be on top of it. So those three things, decluttering, the sequencing, the story, and then making sure that we're on top of it so that we don't become stale and outdated. If you like this, let us know, and uh, we can dive deeper into a specific topic. So the whole point of this discussion, in the, like right now, as we start, is focusing on ideas and topics that you won't hear from, say, other people who are only selling, say, $1,000 a month or $10,000, and then they became another guru on the internet, right? We're real sellers. We do seven figures. We're involved in communities where um, there's plenty of other seven and figures, and we're bouncing ideas 
and looking into we in the weeds, right? So we want to bring that information, hit you with that knowledge, and say if this is what you're liking, you know, let us know and we'll we'll dig into it. Yeah, guys, give us a follow, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.